In this tutorial, we'll go over some tips and guidelines like when and where to light your subject outside. We will be working with the natural light outdoors coming from the sun. Something to keep in mind when shooting outdoors is when you take your photo. Lighting from the sun can actually vary throughout the day and range from harsh lighting to diffuse lighting. Optimal timing situations for photos occur at the magic hour. This time frame actually occurs twice a day during dawn and dusk. This photo was taken at dawn and the light is just rising from the horizon. The lighting is soft and emphasizes a cool atmosphere in the break of morning. On the other hand, this photo was taken at sunset and as the sun falls towards the horizon, the picture is lit aflame. Still soft enough lighting, but now the photo is warm as opposed to the cool of dawn. However, one time to generally avoid is high noon. Around this time, the sun is mostly overhead and the light from it can be strong and a bit harsh on your subject. These situations can tend to overexpose your image or create very strong highlights. For example, this photo was taken around high noon and it is just overexposed tremendously. The light overpowers a subject and washes out all of the details in the image. One thing you can do during noon time is to find shade. Trees or clouds are great natural diffusers and can help reduce the highlights in your image but still keep light to make sure your image is not underexposed. These images are some examples of what photos with diffused lighting may look like. By revolving around the subject, you can see the different lighting scenarios a direction of the light can have on your image. Generally, these lighting techniques are referred to as frontlit, sidelit, and backlit. The use of shadow and light from the sun can directly convey a separate meaning if your subject was facing the sun head on as opposed to turning their back on it. Frontlit subjects, such as the girl in this image, have the sun facing them directly. There are little to no shadows on the subject because of this, and the direct lighting could de-emphasize any blemishes or fine details on the subject. Sidelit subjects have the sunlight coming from their side. This casts a shadow across their face and can create a more dynamic image with the contrast and lighting on the subject. Backlit images have the sunlight directly behind them, creating an even diffused lighting situation on the subject in the photo. This lighting can also often create a halo effect with a slight light outline around the subject in the image. To summarize, take pictures anytime but high noon and preferably at dusk or dawn. Put your subject in diffused lighting situations or position them to fully take advantage of the natural light available to you. Thanks for watching and good luck.